Hello, and thank you for watching. This short video will be a tutorial for group one of the pink book. It's called the mini book of a dozen a day. These are 12 finger exercises. And we'll start with number one. This is called walking. And in this exercise, I like to focus on a couple of things. The first thing is a good hand position. So what that means is this part of the hand is called the bridge. So we're not gonna let that part cave down. We're gonna have that be nice and firm and it's gonna support the rest of the fingers, this top part of the hand. So the fingers will come down from that and then we wanna have this first knuckle in each finger be firm, so curved this way versus caving this way. So the way you can easily set that up is start with your wrist a little bit lower and then stand up on your fingers. You're gonna feel where the grip point is on each finger. So this will be a hand position we're gonna use for lots of these exercises. So in group one walking, we've got our thumb on middle C and our second finger on D. I also like to introduce the solfege syllables in this mini book. So we're gonna call middle C Do and D is Re. And just notice that Do to Re is a whole step. So later on, if you try to do this exercise in other keys, you need to set up fingers one and two as a whole step with one key in between. So we have the quarter notes and we have the half notes in this exercises. With the quarter notes, I'm gonna give a little bit of a pulse and the half notes, a slight roll up of the wrist. So to, just to get used to a nice slow attack and always flowing with the hands and wrist. So it's gonna look like this. So we have a bounce, bounce, bounce. Now here, gentle wrist roll. This is group one, exercise one, side view for walking. I want you to see how we stand up, to find the position I'd usually start, find the grip point, and then just stand up. We're getting that good curve under here. Nice bridge, nice firm first knuckles. So we're just gonna bounce the wrist, gentle wrist. Here's exercise two, hopping. In this exercise, we introduce the touch staccati, which looks like this. You're just gonna touch the keys quickly and make them nice and short. We also introduce the left hand. So if you look in measure two, the hands are gonna be taking turns. Right hand goes first, then we switch to left hand, but they've gotta share that middle C. So and we're gonna use do and re again in this one. So let's get started. Touch, touch, switch, roll up, touch, touch, roll up for four counts. This might feel a little bit weird, these roll ups for four counts, but what I'm hoping that you'll get used to is we're not just going to play the note and just hold it down with no sense of motion. So we're just introducing a gentle motion, two, three, four. So at first, you might feel your wrist going way up high. That's okay. You'll get used to kind of pacing it with the rhythm as you get better. I want you to see that for the hopping, the wrist is going to be slightly higher. So rather than being about here, it's going to just shift up just slightly for these gentle touches. Touch, touch. Here's exercise three, bouncing a ball with the right hand. Again, we're gonna use Do and Re, C and D, so fingers one and two. And in this exercise, we're gonna work on a down up motion. So we're gonna have a gentle lift off on finger two for beat two. So it's gonna look like this. Down, up, down, gentle roll. We're not making the finger come up on beat two. So we're not going down, press. You're just lifting the wrist. Down, up, down, roll up. 
Here's exercise three side view. I just want you to see the gentle lift up on beat two, finger two. So we've got down, up, Here is exercise four, bouncing a ball with the left hand. Same thing that we just did with the right hand, fingers one and two in the left hand. The new concept in this one is that the syllable underneath do or to the left of do or lower than do is called T. Do to T is a half step, so no key in between. So we have do, T, do. Same thing with the left hand for exercise four. Lift up. Two, three, four. Exercise five is called rolling. Few different things we can work on in this one. We're always working on a good hand position, so having that nice bridge, firm first knuckle. This one, we're gonna go up to our third finger. So we introduce Do, Re, Mi. And when we go down, Do, T, La. Now T to La is also a whole step, whereas Do to T is a half step. Do to Re is a whole step. Re to Mi is a whole step. So we're going to walk up and down each hand. You notice my wrist might do a little teeny tiny circle as I'm playing this one as well. exercise six, arms up and down, we're going to introduce two different things. We're going to be working on a slow touch versus a quicker touch. So the slow touch with the gentle wrist roll-ups will be half notes or whole notes, so two beats or four beats. Then the other really fun thing is this whole song is fingers playing at the same time. So the thumbs just kind of have to share. Um, but then the other fingers will have T and Re making some harmony. So here we go. In exercise seven, we are going to work on skips. So skips, as you can see in the music, we are skipping the second finger. We're going straight from finger one to finger three. Those notes look similar because they're both on a line. And the right hand's going from do, do to me, and left hand's going from do to long. It's gonna feel similar, however. So here we go. In number eight, deep breathing. Again, we're working on the slow attack of the note, so rolling through the, the pads of the fingers. So this you aren't gonna do on the tips, you're doing it more on the pads. The thumb, you're just doing it on the side. Now we have fingers one and three playing at the same time, one and three in the same hand. And I like to talk about when you, when you breathe deeply, your lungs expand slowly. So that's what this part is, your lungs expanding nice and slow so you can imagine that as your wrist is rolling up. So here we go, it's Do and Mi. Now hear your lungs expand, one, two, three, four, one, two, touch, touch, and deep breathing, one, two, three, four. Here's exercise eight side view. I just want you to see the slow roll up on those whole notes. 
It might seem extreme, but it allows you to start feeling a flow between every single note that you're playing when you play the piano. So we're gonna have one roll up, three roll up, now four count roll up, reset, one, two, touch, touch, two, three, four. Here's exercise nine, hammering with the right hand. So again, we have Do and we have Mi. Now in this exercise, I like to call the thumb the wall. That's where you're gonna be hammering on. So we're gonna put our thumb down on middle C. And now with finger three, we're gonna do the hammer. So lightly, we're gonna tap this key here, E or Mi, while holding the thumb down. Now the left hand also gets a turn with that exercise. So we're gonna put our thumb down, it's the wall, and third finger, here we go. See if you can let all of the other fingers just relax and rest gently on the keys. Exercise 11, walking in a water puddle in boots. This one's fun because we have single notes and then we have notes at the same time. The hands are taking turns. We're working on our gentle rolls of the wrist. They're all half notes. So here we go. So we've got Do, Do and Re. Left hand is a copycat. It does the same thing, but Do, T, Do. And finally, exercise number 12, fit as a fiddle and ready to go. These are always like a little fun tune. So in this, I like to imagine that we have chords underneath. So just imagine those harmonies underneath as you play this piece. So we're gonna take turns. We're gonna have some notes that are in a scale. We're gonna have a notes that are skipping. And we're gonna have a couple half notes in there. So here we go, sharing middle C. This is called middle C position when you're sharing the C with your thumbs. Skip back down, gentle roll. Roll Thank you for watching this short tutorial on the Dozen a Day Pink mini book. I hope that you found it helpful. And I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique and piano literature. Thanks again for watching.